This video on fun was brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Studica Robotics offers durable, polished, and anodized aluminum channels with several new colors coming soon to customize your robot at studica.com slash robots. No rough edges and a versatile hole pattern allows for positioning at multiple angles. Feel the Studica Robotics difference, and if you're in the USA, request a structure sample for your team at studica.com slash robots. All right, welcome everybody to the Robot in 30 Hours Day 1 Recap. We have uh, 10 FTC teams here making nine robots as well, and our first team is going to be 16460 Gearheads, who had an incredible season last year. So, uh, guys, if you don't mind, introduce yourselves and your team and uh, let us know what some of your progress is here today. Yeah, so like he said, um, we're the Gearheads. We're from Brookfield, Wisconsin. We're a, I believe, eighth-year first team. And, yeah, so... Um, our robot is pretty basic. We came here today with a basic drivetrain already put together so we could get going right away. Um, there's nothing special about it at all. Um, the main part that we have is a lift mechanism from two years back in power play. Um, and we're kind of using the same concept that a lot of teams used back then, which was trying to pick up a block or a cone in that case and transfer it to another arm that would deliver it. So in this case, we would be picking up the block from the depot and attempting to transfer it to another arm, which would lift it into the bucket. So. Hi. Uh, so this part I'm holding is what we plan to use as our intake. So it's uh, three sets of rollers, two horizontal to center the sample, and a vertical roller to sweep it in. And uh, we plan to have this mounted to the front of the robot where it will drop down, drop down into the submersible and then flip up to transfer the sample to our uh, arm. All right, so for our arm, uh, It'll be taking the uh, block from the intake, and it'll take it into the separate claw mechanism. And it has this triangle shape that kind of matches the geometry of this block. And it'll neatly insert into here, and that'll grab it. And then the uh, linear slide lift can lift it up, and the arm will rotate over, and then it can proceed to drop it into a bucket, which is our plan for scoring today at the 30-hour build. Yeah. Like... <laughs> Like Thomas said, um, in terms of strategy, we've determined that like the high bucket is um, more efficient, essentially. So going to the substation and getting a like complete unit from your human player is a little less efficient as it's two points more, but would be twice the driving and twice the mechanism. So um, taking the blocks and just simply scoring them into the top bucket is worth it. And it doesn't limit you to only your team's color. It allows to you allows you to use your team and the yellow neutral color. So what do you guys uh, think of the game so far as you uh, looked at it? Is it exciting to you? Does it remind you of anything? What kind of ideas got flowing right away? So uh, I have been in first for the past four years, and for all of those seasons, there has been no kind of major structure in the field other than maybe a freight frenzy where you had some tracks in the ground. But I... I'm kind of liking the game this year because it has this big central field aspect, so that'll be kind of a change of pace over the past few years. Uh, yeah, when I first saw this game, it reminded me of Rover Ruckus because of the uh, barriers protecting the scoring element, scoring element collection. And uh, one notable change this year is the 42-inch uh, extension limit, so it'll be interesting to see how teams attempt to get the samples that are stuck in the center. So Gearhead, what, what are kind of like your next steps? What do you want to accomplish by the end of tonight? Yeah, so end of tonight, the basics we want to have down. So intaking, putting them into a claw and putting into the bucket. And then also a basic autonomous of just parking or putting one in the bucket and then parking. Um, honestly, climbing up the ladders is our lowest priority right now. Um, it's really difficult. So instead of just being able to have a really, really high arm and reach up to the second one and pull yourself up, you kind of have to do two separate pull-ups. So you have to go to the first bar, be secure there, and then go to the second bar to 
gain those points. So as you were analyzing the game, in your opinion, like uh, maybe not now, but maybe later this season, are you going to go for that high tier climb? Yeah. Um, obviously, end game is a really, really big part of winning the game because it's a lot of points. And you saw that a lot at almost every single world's competition. Um, really, really good teams and really good alliances always max out their end game score. Um, and they'll give up some teleop points for that. So, yeah. All right, well, Gearheads, good luck the rest of the way. Thanks for giving us an update. And let's give them a big round of applause for everybody that's here in the building. And we're going to get ready for our next team, which is going to be 21180 Air 418 coming up in just a moment. Thanks, guys. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Studica Robotics offers durable, polished, and anodized aluminum channels with several new colors coming soon to customize your robot at studica.com slash robots. No rough edges and a versatile hole pattern allows for positioning at multiple angles. Feel the Studica Robotics difference, and if you're in the USA, request a structure sample for your team at studica.com slash robots.